cut the whole yard, and all they want to do is play in the trash. <laughs> Come on, puppies. Come on, puppies. Yes, let's get some action shots there, boys. Over here. Come on, Mom. Come on, Mama. And here we go. You're feeling spry this morning, I gotta tell ya. Yeah. Yeah, teach them boys to hunt. Good mama. Yeah. Here, give me the ball. Give me the ball. <laughs> so this is Mama Leodon, and this little fella, I think she's telling she's the boss, is Christian, and I do believe he's the alpha male of the litter, which is probably why she's letting him know that she's the alpha bitch either way. <laughs> This little guy is Kieran. He's a wonderful fawn brindle with the blue brindle. And he looks, takes more after his mother's lines. Christian looks just like his grandfather. And is probably the most heavily muscled dog in my litter. And this is Sonny, who looks just like his sweet daddy. Maybe a little bit lighter on the light parts of his coat, but same pattern and same face and build. He's going to be a tall, leggy dog, slender, elegant, you know. He's kind of been tussling with Christian to see who was alpha, but I think he gave that up pretty quick because if he's anything like his daddy, he's, he's a sweetheart. He's just uh, a playful one, very playful, but a very good dog. His daddy was a wonderful, wonderful dog. And this little guy, I'm sorry to tell you, is not for sale because he's staying with me. He looks just like his mommy. Yes, he does. And his name is Finnegan. So we got Sonny, Kieran, and Christian. And if you want a hunting dog or a dog that can run like blue blazes, this is probably your dog. Uh, this is not an AKC litter, but uh, they are 100% whippet and a very fine stock. The AKC does not have the market corner on genetics for whippets, I'll tell you that right now. The best whippets come from the UK. And that's where she came from. So, neener, neener, neener. My genetics are cleaner. Their daddy's an AKC sire, and a fine one at that. But yeah, I think you can get a temporary or a partial registration or whatever they call it if you wanted to let this dog run a lower course. Or you could just, uh, you know, be like me and realize the AKC doesn't mean squat if you know dogs. That piece of paper means nothing. It doesn't tell you anything about the quality of the animal. It just tells you who his daddy is. And his granddaddy. And his great-granddaddy. But yeah, the best European, or the best whippets are all over in Europe. It's not to put down the American whippet. I mean, that sire was one of the best, well-tempered dogs ever. But we had to spend quite a bit of time looking for him. And I believe I got myself a little clone of the guy, which is quite a bargain because that dog was priceless. This guy's a little bit more shy and aloof, I think, than the other two. He'll probably be your quietest or calmest of the three. Whereas this guy over here, that dog will hunt, I promise you. He started tearing paper up in the whelping room pretty early. <laughs> With a passion, too. And he's definitely the heaviest muscled dog in the litter. A fine sporting whippet right here. Fine indeed. I would expect him to be just, just as muscly as can be. Christian, that's his name. He was my firstborn, too. Flopped out right in my hand.
Kieran! Oh, Kieran! But yeah, I also didn't do an AKC litter because I don't really care for the the crowd, to be honest with you. I don't care for the rescue crowd, and I don't care for the AKC pump and circumstance crowd. Nothing against the rescue crowd, I just don't care for it, you know, like, they give me a hard time for not rescuing a dog. But there's a big difference between a puppy that was raised in a home, you know, with one dam, and was loved as a pet from before it was even conceived. There's a big difference between a dog like that and a dog from some kennel. I learned that the hard way. I've got a more or less rescue from a puppy mill, a little Italian Greyhound. He was a wonderful little animal, but he has some issues that he wouldn't have if I had gotten him into eight weeks old from a homebred litter, like I did her. Leodon, you don't have to clean up after the puppies anymore. <laughs> her maternal instincts are incredible, and it's her first litter. And that's because she was homebred by my good friend, and she was loved from before she was even conceived. Isn't that right, Finnegan? I was hoping for you before I even got you. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. I wanted a little boy that looked just like his mommy, so I'd have bookend dogs. And because your mommy's so awesome. Yeah, this little guy looks just like his paternal grandfather. You'll notice he's bigger than, he's much bigger than his brother Finnegan here, considerably. You know, it's not that noticeable right now because they're pups, but Buck was a very tall Whippet uh, sire. About as tall as Whippets get, actually, and slender. So this fellow looks like Buck's dad, and he's going to probably be tall and muscly. So, and he definitely has the prey drive in the group. Oop, there he goes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's alpha. You see how he comes over here and shows shows the other dogs that's his mom. <laughs> Claims her. Puts his head on top of theirs. See? But he's sweet. He always comes to me. He cries. He cries for attention. Don't you? You know. Oh, he's such a good boy. Here. He's such a good boy. Come on, take it easy. Now this guy, he's just going to be absolutely gorgeous. And I think he might be the run of the litter. Leodon. Hey, Leodon. Take it easy. I know they're your kids, but I'm still the boss. So you can see Finnegan here and his brother, Kieran, favor their mother's lines. So they're a little smaller, their heads are a little smaller. So if you want the smaller of the three, Kieran is the smaller. I'm going to have to insist you stay in contact with me if you acquire Kieran because I just have to see how he turns out. Well, the same thing goes for all of them. I want to know how the dogs are doing because I love them. Find you a stick to play with. Well, hello, Kieran. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, you should have just the cutest little blue mask and blue brindle. And he's growing up, and he'll probably fade out a bit and be a wee bit lighter. So the brindle will be like kind of very subdued. But yeah, he's a very nice little dog. I think he's the shy one in the bunch. Come in. And this fellow is really playful. He 
He's a lot like his daddy. His daddy was very affectionate and playful. A very sweet dog. Very, very playful, very puppy kind of dog, but very nice. This little guy's just looking for some rabbits or something. And this guy just can't stand to be away from me. That's why I'm keeping him. Oh, keep my fin again. Oh, here we go. Oh. Here he is. It's okay, Mama. And this little fella whines to get picked up too. So even though I believe he's the alpha, he's he's a people person. He's definitely a people person. Here you go, buddy. Isn't that right, Christian? Yeah. But yeah, he will whine incessantly to be picked up. He's very affectionate. But he's definitely top dog. No doubt about it. Oh, buddy. Yeah. Oh, there's my little Christian. Oh, you're so pretty. Look at you. You're a handsome lad. Yeah. Oh, and what muscles. What rippling muscles. <laughs> yep. Yeah. You got some... You got some thighs on you, kid. You're gonna be quick. All right. Well, lads, say bye-bye. I know it's a long, boring video, but some of the people watching this are actually going to have these puppies as their pets. And that's what it's for. So they got about two, nope, three weeks. And they're going to go to their new homes and I will miss them. But I will also be happy to have made some new friends by providing them with a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful member of their family. Just like uh, Beverly did for me. Thank you, Beverly. And why do you kids got to play in the trash, for God's sake? <laughs> Come on over here. Come on. Oh, good boy. Good boy, Christian. Good boy. Come here, Kieran. Come here, Kieran. Come here, buddy. Are you hiding back there, Finnegan? Yeah. Come on, you're Finnegan, not Oscar. You don't have to live in a trash can. Oh, look at how cute. <laughs> you can look cute sitting next to a garbage can. Oh, well. All right, this is going to take about two years to upload, so say goodbye, garbage pail kids. <laughs> goodbye. Okay.